All right, today all the magic happens. We have a lot going on, especially first thing this morning. Uh, we have a little jag of bulls that we're collecting, but even bigger than that, today is uh, embryo day. We are flushing 11 donors. We have about 130 recepts set up to transfer embryos into. And so we have a big juggling match uh, to get the cows flushed, get the embryos out, see what they did, because we don't know how many embryos they are or aren't going to make. Uh, and then once we have that, then we figure out how many we're gonna get to transfer in fresh. That's our goal, because that's where our best conception rates are, is transferring fresh embryos. This is what's gonna make our calf crop for next year. This generates our income. This is what gives us our champions. If it's a bad day today, that means it's gonna be a bad day a year from now and business is gonna suffer for the long term. So we want today to be very good. I got a good feeling though. This cow is 94. This is Lawson's. But my goal with her is to make a show steer that looks like Maggie. Come here, Maggie. It's gonna be game over. Look at the paws. Look at the flexibility, the stoutness, the hair. So I did her to Golden Boy. Golden Boy, if y'all look at the picture of Golden Boy, look at this cow and you're like, hey, he probably could make a Maggie. So this is my goal. I want a show steer that looks like Maggie. Shaggy, good looking. Stout, look at those paws. Woo. If you delivered a kalachi, that'd be awesome. Huh? If you delivered a kalachi, that would be awesome. He's too lazy to go over there. Flush, once we get through this process on all these, then we'll have our embryos collected and then we'll start in the lab, he's grading them see how yeah. quality they are and then he'll put them individually in straws and we'll put those in the reset cows later okay. and then here these are the bulls that they're going to collect today and they'll jump on that jump steer and he'll collect it into an av and take it into mary where she does her magic good job thank you my good lady you're welcome Hmm? Yes, sir. Did you not like it? Oh, no, I ate it. Until Maggie got my thing. That's why this one didn't fly off. You literally shot its eyes out. Hey, throw it and see if Maggie will go get it. No, I want to eat it. No. Maggie ate it and made uh, uh, feathers go everywhere in the yard. Yeah, she had a heyday with feathers. And since it was my pigeon, I had to pick up the feathers. <laughs> I think, yeah, Lawson's pigeon hunting days are not over, but his uh, attempting to eat them days might be over. The thing about a day like today is it's hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait. And the results are very important but it's a slow process getting them. We'll have a cow in the chute. Casey will flush the embryos out of that cow. They'll get caught in a filter, go into Markwood in the lab, and then we sit there and it's like, feels like waiting on Christmas, trying to figure out if your favorite cow is actually gonna make embryos or if she's gonna bomb, if she made 30, if she made 10, if she made five, you know, what is it that we got? And to be honest, it's a little bit nerve wracking. Yeah. yeah. So the second donor we did today bombed. She stemmed and had 15 unfertilized, but we used sex semen on a conventional flush. And whenever you use sexed, for whatever reason, especially on conventional, that's where it gets tricky. We used three straws of sex, one straw of conventional. It was a lot of money because the sex straws are 500 a straw. And we got zero. So part of it, but. On to the next one. Hey, this is the best fence builder in the world right here. <laughs> right? There we go. Yeah. The fastest too. Yeah. <laughs> fastest gunslinger in the West. That's right, that's right. You can put them gloves on. And then just go like that with the, what's it called? With the pliers. With the pliers. Hey, we needed some pliers yesterday and they said you had them all at your house. 
Uh -huh. There wasn't any in the truck. Oh. That's what you need to do over there. <laughs> you gonna be the black one? Oh no! Hell no man. <laughs> Did you find ten more? No. Why not? Uh, she made like twelve or thirteen total. Three UFOs, four degenerates, and seven good ones, something oh. like that. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it was gonna be good. Come on. <laughs> So today we did very good. Uh, national average whenever you conventional flush is getting six grade one or two embryos per flush. Today we averaged 8.8 .8 on 11 donors and that's with one of them completely bombing out and giving zero. So today was a very good flush day. Uh, we had everything intentional, everything right. God helped us out and we had us a good day. We have plenty of embryos. Uh, we're going to end up being able to freeze some, putting our, our embryo cells later on. And so now we'll have us a good day. Hopefully we get all these recips bred and next year we have us a good sale. We got to make it fit. It's kind of like me. Come on. Oh, just wait a second. Jason's coming. Over here, he's gonna try to get you on it. <laughs> Just hit the pipe and she'll go. We're, we've done eight so far out of 11 donors. And now that we know how many good ones we got, <clears throat> we have to decide what's gonna go in today fresh, what's gonna get frozen. And there's gonna be a little guesswork in it because we don't know how many recips exactly are going to work that we're going to pass on. Um, we have 45 for today, uh, recips. And so we're probably, what do you think, Mark? We're going to work off 35. Yeah, we'll shoot for about 33 to 35, somewhere in there. We're hoping 33 to 35 of those recips will have a CL and will work to take an embryo. So now I have to prioritize in my mind which matings I want to get put in uh, and how many of each mating I want to put in to hit that 33 to 35 and then make a decision on which ones to freeze after that. Um, we had a, had a pretty decent flush day so far. This one we ended up with 8, 19, 8, 6, 12, and eight, so we're above average on most of these here. The cows are flushing very good. I'm excited about that. A lot of these matings are full sibs to other successful stuff we've had, so I don't mind freezing them and, and we can offer some of those for sale to others. They'll have some value there. But I'm trying to think of what is it that I wanna get put in and, and have next year. And so I kinda, we started flushing these in kind of a priority order. So I'm going to put in all of these 80s. I'm going to put in all of these 94s. And this one, um, the boys are actually partners with Horn on that one. So automatically half of those are going to get frozen. So I only have three available there. I want to put in all three of those. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, there's a lot going on over here, and I just want you to know that you're welcome to come visit us in person. If you want to show steer, you want to be part of the QB Cattle Company team, part of Half-Blood Nation, come pick you one out this spring. If you have a bull that you'd like to get collected, then get with us at Bull Nanza Stud Services, and we'll get you taken care of, whether you need them collected, whether you need them marketed. Uh, that's what we're here to do. Or... If you're raising these crossbred show cattle and you have cattle that may have genetic defects, call us at Express Livestock Genomics because we are the fastest in the world at getting your results back. Again, thank you for tuning in. 
uh, like, subscribe, share this video, and hang around, catch us on the next one.